Ian, thank you very much. Uh, right, so imagine the delight now of a dog owner being reunited with their lost pet. Well, today, Graham Burton from Pontypridd will get an award for helping return almost 3,000 lost dogs to their owners. He set up Drone Search and Rescue for Lost Dogs UK, which uses a network of volunteers and drones to find lost animals. And in recognition of all his hard work, he'll receive the International Fund for Animal Welfare Awards at the House of Lords. And I'm pleased to say we can speak to Graham now. Good morning to you. Morning, Natasha. Welcome to the programme this morning. Thanks again at Bright and Early to join us today. Wow, mm-hmm. it's incredible. I, th- I was reading about you last night. You know, almost 3,000 lost dogs you've returned to their owners. Just tell us a bit about how this works when someone's lost their pet and needs your help. Um, well, basically, when uh, um, an owner loses their pet, um, they put a post on to the group. Um, then the team of admins then will will take over the post, um, talk to the owner, get as much information as we possibly can from the owner, um, find out where the dog went missing, uh, the breed, the age, temperament, this sort of thing. Um, and, and we will then arrange for drone pilots uh, and ground searchers to go and help look for the dog. Wow, so there's a lot of effort going in here. How helpful is it then using the drones? Tell us about that side of it. Well, it's it's very successful. I mean, we can cover areas where where lots you know where people can't um, walk, uh, cliff faces, uh, large areas of fields, uh, which would normally take a few hours to um, search by foot. Uh, it can be it can be done in in twenty minutes, half an hour by using a drone. So, yeah, it's saving time, precious time when you are looking for your lost pet. It must be a distressing time. What about any sort of privacy issues around using those drones? Okay, in residential areas, how does that work? Um, Well, since the CAA uh, changed the rules and regulations back at the beginning of last year, I think it was, um, any any drone that is under 250 grams in weight uh, can now be flown in um, residential areas. Um, so there's no really, you know, people people don't own the airspace above their properties, uh, which a lot of people think they do, um, but they don't. It's all controlled by the CAA. So there is really no um, sort of privacy rules. People think they've got privacy, but they don't really have it. Um, we, we can basically fly drones anywhere. Mm. Okay, and you know, I've got a dog, I have to say, I, if I'd have had 10 years, I would be very stressed if she went missing. What is it like when you find somebody's dog, that moment, and you know that you can reunite them? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's absolutely, you know, when, when, you, when you've reunited an owner back with their dog, it's, it's the best feeling ever. Even though it's not my dog or any of the admin's dogs, they, they get a feeling of, joy you know it's it's and it's over and over again because we're we're so successful in what we do um it's 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 an amazing feeling what compelled you to want to do this then because it's nice to hear you talk about that amazing feeling but it's obviously a busy time it's a busy job doing this you know three thousand dogs there's a lot of animals (laughs) is basically i i was well i still am an admin on a, a number of missing Uh, dog groups and we used to get people coming on has anybody got a drone or does anybody know anybody who's got a drone um, that can help search and it just got me to thinking that there wasn't um, a dedicated uh, group for this sort of thing Uh, so yeah so I I, I set the group up and uh, it's gone from strength to strength I can imagine how lovely that feeling must be for you. Graham, what's the most rewarding rescue you think you've done? One that really stands out to you? Oh, God, there's so there's so many. There's so <laughs> many. Can't, can't pinpoint one. Every every rescue is is fantastic, you know. It's uh, it's great when, when we are able to help people um, get their dogs back. It's it's amazing. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It must be very, very rewarding. And obviously, you know, you are going to get recognised. People are grateful, as they should be. You're going to get an award. What was that like when you found out about that? I thought it was a wind-up, to be honest. (laughs) Um, Yeah, the International Fund for Animal Welfare uh, is an organisation that covers 40 countries worldwide. So it's it's quite quite a privilege and an honour to receive this award. 
um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing, and we're looking forward to going up to the House of Lords uh, to receive the award. Can I just say, I know Graham Burton very well. Good morning, Graham. You used to be a photographer, didn't you, on the uh, on the old Neath Guardian where I started working? How are you? I did. Who's that? <laughs> it's Ian Hunt. How are you, mate? Good, <laughs> mate. How do you go from from taking pictures uh, to, to doing all this kind of stuff with dogs? Retirement, mate. Is that, is that what it is? <laughs> he never used to like taking photos. I remember of people who'd who did very good things in the community, and they had check presentations. Do you remember that? Oh, they yes. used to hold out these big checks. You know those pictures in the papers, the local yeah, papers. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> did like those, Graham? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to get used to the attention now, though, for this award, Graham. Ian was very happy to see your face pop up on our video screens this morning. You will have to get used to that. Are you excited? Yeah, brilliant. I'm over the moon. Absolutely. Yeah, nice to talk to you as well, Ian. Yeah, good to see you, Graham. Good stuff, Graham. Thank you so much. Listen, good luck and enjoy it. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. That's uh, Graham Burton from Pontypridd. Uh, set up this drone search and rescue for Lost Dogs UK, bringing us up to seven o'clock.